this might be the fight I'm most excited for. Yeah, I'm stoked on the main event. Here we go. A head movement early. You can tell Eric is pretty experienced. He's slipping. Yeah, yeah, look how loose he looks. And he's using his head movement. Low guard, though, which we've seen to uh, not be the best. Yeah, I don't know. I think he might uh, think he's... Uh, oh, oh! oh, and he punches him. Oh, out. my God. First punch he lands. That's at least a knockdown. All right, the other fighter looks good. That's a 10 count, though. This is a 10-8 round already. Not that he's got time been, to turn it around. Not that judges have been necessary. His mouth guard again. That ref didn't see the mouth guard fly into the stands. That's another 10 count. I don't know how many he gets. I don't know uh, if there's a three. This is amateur. It's so not, It's not it's technically a knockdown, though. Those were knockdowns, I think. He's gi he given a them a count. standing eight count. Yeah, right? yeah standing, standing 10 count, I believe. He's still moving. He looks fresh. He's not cloudy. He's ready to fight. I think that second one was just him losing his mouth guard and trying to get his mouth guard back in his face. There goes a slap there. I don't know if Ooh. that's the move. Uh, he's looking he like he's to, just... He needs to connect and get uh, oh, Eric's respect. Okay. There we go. He definitely seems like he's more of a brawler. Whereas uh, There we go. Eric we can Lopez. clinch there. That's legal here. Lights out living up to the name. He's. I thought that was a slip, but I could have been wrong. That last one was a slip, I think. But, I don't uh, know why we're counting. He gets. I think it's another eight count. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. Apparently, he can have as many eight counts as he wants. I think a standing eight count. Oh, he's high-fiving his brother. Oh, no. He's getting the bucket. Oh, he's, he's throwing up. Always a good sign. Why don't they stop the uh, timer? Okay. <laughs> Just a little puke. Just a little puke. We're back to business. <laughs> it's bare knuckle. Yeah. No rules, baby. Yeah. Fuck it. Like, we'll puke. We're about to see round two. We're unless gonna, we, uh, unless, unless he throws something flashy. Three yeah, seconds. I think, I think Eric's going to definitely use his uh, break here. <laughs> yeah, a little cut under the eye. A little. No, it's dripping blood. That's a good cut. Woo, listen to the crowd. I don't know if that's carrying over the broadcast, but they're stop they should show the other side of the crowd, honestly. They're way more wide. Right. <laughs> Closer to the bar. <laughs> yeah. He but, needs uh, to knock out to win this fight, I believe, with the amount of uh, 10 counts he got. Or well, that's just counts. one round, though. It's not going to carry over here. You could win the next three rounds, I guess. Oh, with the points carry over, though. 10-8 must, right? Or is bare knuckle different? Yeah, but, I mean, if he wins this round. Oh, yeah, true. And the next round and the next round. I think with three knockdowns, he'd still be down and out. I don't think we need to worry about the next rounds. So he's clinching up. Eric Lopez clinching now. That cut opened up even more. The junkyard dog with a lot of heart staying in there. I think he's saying he can't see. I'm not sure. Uh, I could be wrong. No, I think he's saying he's ready to go. It looks like he wants to fight. Yeah, he's he didn't uh, come here to lose. fired up. Yeah. And we're at least not going to quit. And uh, that's admirable. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He's in there with a much more experienced opponent, and uh, he is he's standing his ground like a man. Making the walk took heart. Staying yeah. in there. Yeah. He's in there with a much more experienced opponent, and he's standing in there like a man. Throwing. Yeah, this is, a, this is a gentleman who's given his nickname, I'd say. Yeah. No matter how this fight goes for him tonight, he's not a loser. He's uh, <laughs> He's got heart, yeah. He's a gamer. And, you know, he's got he's Eric got on his heels. Eric is tired, he's I believe, He's got Eric on his heels, him, but he's got to like, open up. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, he's smiling at him. He's smiling at him. That blood dripping down. Ooh, okay, overhand with a counter uppercut. It looked like they're both kind of scared to hey. engage. He's I think they both got each other's respect at this point. Right, right. They're both scared to engage. I mean, it, it takes so little for a knockout in this sport. That was a beautiful right hand from uh, Lopez. Yeah, you know, he's feeling it out that jab and then stepping in with that cross. The head movement, too. The hand's low. It looks like he's feeling confident again, but he's definitely he not taking caught. any risks. There's a jab. We're going to see a round three, I think. I believe this is a uh, four-round fight. That's definitely broken. Yeah, hand. his hand is definitely broken. It doesn't show on broadcast, but that thing's the size of a balloon on our end. I hope so, that doesn't uh, end the fight. See if he switches a stance maybe and starts leading with his other hand. His right hand's been money too, though. I'm very interested to see what this fighter does. Yeah. You know, he might be... You Throw it till it goes numb is what I've always heard. I, so I've we'll fought, see it. I've fought with a broken hand before, and I've got to say it takes, it takes a lot of heart, a lot of balls. 
Looks like he's using it for a range finder right now. Yeah, he's got it open too. I don't know if he can close it anymore. Oh, look at that, yeah. I don't think his hand can close. Interesting strategy going to the body. I feel like the I feel like the head is there. He can't really block with that hand anymore. I don't know if he knows about his opponent's hand yet. Yet, yeah. He'll definitely realize when he gets punched. It, it, it's like all of a sudden the power's gone. Yeah, he's just flicking it. He's Ooh, just flicking it. He's hitting it. him with his broken hand. I've always heard you throw it till it goes numb. I um, you know, I, I still threw mine when it broke, but it was it was just big pain the whole time. So. A lot, of, a lot of heart from both these fighters, but Lopez is definitely cruising for a victory, even if this is all he does for the rest of the fight. Looks like he's uh, kind of throwing it out there like a slap right now, trying to protect it I as think best as he can. Trying to keep the opponent from brawling and landing that right hand, because that right hand's been money all night. Yeah, yeah, Wallace needs to step in with some hooks here. Um, I believe this is an amateur bout, or no, this is professional. This is a pro bout. He needs to step in with some hooks. You can kind of tell by how clean his right hand is. Ooh. But it's a pro bout. Still using that broken hand. Look how big it's getting. Yeah, it doesn't have the same snap it had earlier, though. Right, right. Now it looks. Now his head's not moving when he gets jabbed very much. His hand is moving, though. He's still got his hands down. Interesting. That was a good uppercut. Uh, you know, this this round for me is a little harder to score because I feel like Wallace is walking his opponent down. Wallace is walking his opponent down, but he hasn't really hit his opponent. I feel like the jab is, uh, the broken hand jab is won Lopez this round. I think he might have just chipped some teeth or something. Uh, he doesn't need all of them. You don't need all of them. That's why God gave you so many, right? Yeah, uh, spare parts. Spare parts. <laughs> a lot of heart from both gentlemen, but, uh... Got Clearly double cuts under uh, under Wallace. Look here. at his face. He's he's wincing in pain, just bouncing. A lot of heart. If he just sticks it out, he wins. Oh, high fives he with it. High fives with <laughs> the broken I bet he regretted hand. that the second he did it. He was like, "Oh man, why'd I do and that?" And a hook. All right, he's just he's gonna throw it till it goes numb, I believe. And then he's gonna use it some more, I think. He's yeah, winning. we're gonna check tomorrow after the party, baby. I have him up every single round, and that last round, all he did was throw his broken hand. Yeah, he. Uh, He's trying to coast here and uh, I think protect his hand as best as he can. Uh, he's throwing it like a slap. Of all the sports I've watched in, port in person, I think uh, bare knuckle might be the most entertaining. This is this is fantastic. Yeah, it's open hand slaps now. The he's dog really, is coming. Yeah, he's trying Who to let the dogs oh. out. Right oh. Oh. Who let the dogs out? Oh, this is a brawl now. I think. Uh, I think Wallace, Wallace taking knows over. about his hand. Wallace is taking over from now. There we go. Oh, there we go. Back. The blood is splashing. The blood is dripping from his hand, I believe. He may have. I mean, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but it could be a gnarly broken hand. Wallace's corner getting at He's him in here. Telling He's him to come him. forward. He's agitating the cuts. Oh, and I just got splashed with some blood. <laughs> He, uh, he's, I love it. Both hands are open now. He may have broken both hands. Yeah, oh, and he's pouring it on now. He's Whoa. taking it to him. His opponent is not wasting this opportunity. He knows he needs the finish. This is a dog fight now. There's one round left. Oh, my gosh. His nose is just gushing blood. Both these gentlemen, crazy heart. Let's go, boys. Oh, my goodness. What a beautiful first card for uh, Montana's bare knuckle. Yeah, and wait for the uh, Wallace to really turn it around here. You know, it looked like it was going to be an early night for him. We've got we've got blood on the table. <laughs> All three judges score the fight by unanimous decision. Fighting out of the red corner, Eric Lutzer.